Ivanka Trump might be the daughter of former American President Donald Trump, but she has made enough of her own money to live life to the fullest. Together with her husband Jared Kushner, Ivanka recently bought a pretty exclusive property on Billionaire Bunker. She reportedly paid an incredible 24 million US dollars for it. Can you even imagine what you'd get for that price? We're talking six bedrooms, an impressive indoor gym, and of course a private beach, not to mention your own private police force. Please, take a seat and relax as we take you on a virtual tour of Ivanka Trump's 24 million US dollar mansion on Billionaire Bunker. 24 million dollar mansion. Billionaire Bunker is set in Florida on the exclusive Indian Creek Island. A few of its other residents include billionaire investor Carl Icahn, supermodels Adriana Lima and Giselle Bunchen, as well as Spanish singer Julio Iglesias. It is so incredibly exclusive that the only way to access it is via a bridge, connecting it to its surroundings, Miami's Biscayne Bay. And yes, you have to have pretty deep pockets and be liked if you want to call it home. Property taxes are estimated at close to 473,000 US dollars per year. New residents are also expected to pay a fee of around 150,000 US dollars if they want to join the on-site country club. So it's a good thing that Ivanka's net worth currently stands at 300 million US dollars, making her a billionaire if you take into account her husband's net worth of 800 million. Whether the couple is liked is another story altogether. Also, if rumors are true, the famous couple has more than one property within the estate, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Besides having billions to your name, how do you become a part of the exclusive community that is Billionaire Bunker? Well, it's reportedly not very easy. According to reports, you can't simply buy a property and move in. Instead, you have to be invited or nominated into the circle by at least one of the estate's current residents. After you've received your golden invitation, residents get to vote on your acceptance. And even if one person votes no, you're out. However, the power couple known as Javanka were apparently told that they don't have to go through all the formalities. This is very interesting because around the time of their purchase, reports also stated that most of the residents on Billionaire Bunker said they would vote no because of the Capitol riot event. But the stars were clearly aligned in their favor because they own not one but two title deeds on Billionaire Bunker. They also own an empty lot within the estate. In 2020, reports surfaced that the couple had paid a whopping 32.2 million US dollars for a rather large empty piece of land on the island, and were presumably planning on constructing their dream home on it. But we're guessing that since it would have taken two years to complete construction, the couple decided to buy an already built home. Plus, can you imagine what they would have had to spend on construction? They bought the empty plot which spans across 1.84 acres from Julio Iglesias. He himself has more than one property within the estate. This piece of land also comes with its own 200-foot private waterfront. Who knows what they plan on doing with it now that they have an already built home. Whether those reports are accurate, we unfortunately cannot confirm. Though we're guessing it's highly likely. Money is most definitely not a problem for either Ivanka or her husband. If you're wondering what kind of perks Ivanka and her family get to enjoy by living on Billionaire Bunker, then hold on to your seats because they trump, excuse the pun, the perks of just about any other luxury estate. Apart from a flashy mansion with its own private beachfront, residents are guarded by their very own police force. 13 police officers reportedly patrol the estate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, both by sea and land. The only reason they don't have a patrol via helicopter is for privacy reasons. After a day of moving or shaking the business world, residents can also relax on the estate's private 18-hole golf course fully equipped with its own private restaurant within the country club. And if that doesn't help your stress melt away, then your mansion, equipped with nothing but the best, should do the trick. The mansion scooped up by Ivanka was originally built in 1994 and is set on 1.24 acres of land and has over 8,000 square feet of living space. It was previously owned by music producer Scott Storch, who has worked with the likes of Beyonce, Christina Aguilera, and Dr. Dre. It has a flat roof, large arched windows, and a balcony. Inside, the entire home is fitted with 26-foot domed ceilings, large elaborate crystal chandeliers, and a Cinderella staircase within the foyer. The remodeled French neoclassical masterpiece is situated right on the waterfront, 
so it has incredible views of Biscayne Bay. It is equipped with six spacious bedrooms, eight bathrooms featuring marble finishes, and one partial bathroom. It also has a state-of-the-art indoor gym, a cinema room, and more than one dining room, as well as several entertainment rooms, a wood-paneled office, and a custom-built bar area estimated to have been built at a cost of $22,500 US dollars. Can you imagine what it would cost to stock such a bar? Bearing in mind that Ivanka probably enjoys nothing but the high-end range of drinks. Have we mentioned the focal point of the home? It has a resort-style pool that measures 20 by 30 feet and is valued at an estimated $30,000 and a hot tub priced at $25,000. The outdoor space is brought to life with meticulously manicured gardens, a large dock, and a few extra reflecting pools. You can of course skip all of that and just choose to relax on your private strip of beach or take your boat out for a sundowner. But before we tell you more, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. So, it would seem that at the end of the day, the property will still set Ivanka back a little more than the 24 million she paid. The first aerial shots of the space reflected that the home would require a few refurbishments. Since buying the property, there seems to have been some neglect. For starters, the main pool will need quite a bit of attention, and the outside area will have to be redone, though we're guessing they were planning on remodeling a little anyway. As for the most impressive part of the mansion, it is most definitely the master bedroom. Not only is it big enough to include a rather large seating area, but the ensuite marble tiled bathroom has separate sinks, a bathtub big enough to soak anyone's troubles away, a wet room, and not one, but two separate walk-in closets, each with its own vanity room and spectacular views of the outdoors. It's not really clear whether the couple has started with any refurbishments as of yet, and they haven't moved in yet either. So, in the meantime, Ivanka and her family are renting a luxury condo in nearby Arte. The condo is in an oceanfront high-rise tower situated in Surfside, Florida. The temporary living space reportedly costs them no less than $40,000 per month. Previously, they rented a Tony mansion in the upscale area of Calorama in Washington, which makes sense since both Ivanka and her husband worked for the Trump administration. They also previously lived in a Park Avenue apartment on Manhattan's Upper East Side, and they own a home in Bedminster, New Jersey. While the billionaire bunker mansion came with a hefty price tag, it is by no means the most expensive property on the island. In 2019, a house with 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a 100-foot-long swimming pool was reportedly bought for a jaw-dropping 50 million US dollars. Though, having already spent 32.2 million on an empty lot, who knows what kind of house Ivanka might still build? Might she one day move into the island's most expensive property? We guess we'll have to wait and see.